ഹായ് ഓൾ ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ മുന്നിൽ വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് എമിലി ഡിക്കൻസൻ്റെ ബിക്കോസ് ഐ കുഡ് നോട്ട് സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ഫോർ ദ ഡെത്ത് എന്നൊരു ഷോർട്ട് പോയമോ ആയിട്ടാണ് എമിലി ഡിക്കൻസൻ വാസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്രേറ്റസ്റ്റ് വുമൺ പോയിറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് അമേരിക്ക ഷി വാസ് നോട്ടഡ് ഫോർ ഹർ വിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലവ് ഫോർ ഫൺ ഇൻ ഹർ യൂത്ത് ഷി യൂസ് ടു ടേക്ക് പാർട്ട് ഇൻ വില്ലേജ് സോഷ്യൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ദ ഓൾനി ടു ഓഫ് Emily Dickinson's poems were published in her lifetime. After her death, her sister Lavinia discovered and published some of the poems in three series in 1890, 1891, 1896. The further volumes were The Single Haunt in 1914, Further Poems 1929, and bowls of melody in 1945 her letters were published in 1894 emily dickinson's poems were short compressed and oracular introspective and meditative because i could not stop for the death is one of the best known poems of emily dickinson the special quality of her mind is evident in this poem every image is precise and it intensifies every other the terror of death is objectified though the image of a gentle driver who is to take her to immortality the poem moves from immortality to eternity death the driver courts the lady by taking her for a drive the other passenger is immortality the situation is rather ironical moving to the third stanza the journey from mortality to eternity passes first through childhood the poet and the death are thus represented as passing by a school where children are playing then they pass the fields where grains gaze at them this is the age of youth the next line in the poem in which the poet describes them as passing in the setting sun refers to the old age thus life is portrayed as a journey which ends in a meeting with the death here setting sun means old age the poet's gown her scarves were insubstantial like cobwebs here grosmer means cobweb chilandi wala here she is telling she is wearing a light weight gown it implies that earthly existence is nothing more than an illusion death takes the death takes the poet ultimately to a house which is identified with the grave the house is swelling of the ground with the roof scarcely visible the identification is thus made complete with the concrete images centuries have rolled by since the poet's encounter with death but the poet has been accompanied by immortality the passage of time appears short and even unreal in the last lines this centuries means centuries have passed shorter than the day means from the point of view of immortality time as measured on earth is short and even unreal the whole set means the reference may be to the whole men mentioned in the book of revelations in the bible eternity means endless time in these lines the carriage held but just ourselves and immortality in the opening stanza of emily dickinson's poem because i could not stop for death she introduces death as a gentle messenger who stopped his carriage for her the passengers in the carriage were the poet death and immortality these were the th- the three chief concerns of the poet immortality means eternal life after death in this poem the poet uses the imaginary of a journey to describe death an inevitable event on the earth 
so all of you i think this poems content is clear for you thank you for uh, watching my video